Hi, my name is Edmund Chan, and I am a Solutions Architect at GitLab, located in Toronto. I'm going to be presenting to you today how you can use GitLab to retrieve a secret from HashiCorp Vault using the APIs instead of the CLI. There are other videos that are on uh, GitLab and Filter that you can look, look for that show you the CLI process that is also very well documented in uh, our documentation as an example. So let me go ahead and share my screen. You'll see here in this uh, readme file that uh, you know, there's access to the documentation for the API. Uh, you'll see that the benef main benefit here is that you don't need to install CLI onto the uh, image that you're using. So that saves you, I think it's about around a 40 megabyte download that you need to install in your image. Instead, all we need to do is install curl and JQ to go ahead and, uh, and uh, work with the JSON uh, results that come back from the curl. Uh, there are some prerequisites, so you need to make sure that you can enable JWT authentication method in Vault, and you need to configure your policy and roles, all of which are documented in uh, this example for the CLI. You just take a quick look at that. You can see uh, it is fairly detailed. It shows you what you need, shows you the payload for the JWT token. Um, and the, the real benefit around this is that rather than having to then storing your environment variables, like uh, maybe a, uh, your private token as, as an environment variable inside GitLab and um, masking it and making it private, you can store it in Vault, which is inherently more secure, and, uh, and retrieve it from there using the uh, JWT token, which is automatically generated for your job. So uh, really, the, uh, the duration, the validity of that key is, uh, is limited, limiting, uh, reducing the uh, possible attack surface for any type of security vulnerability uh, around access to that token. So coming back to uh, the job at hand, I want to start by showing you the uh, simple structure I have inside Vault. Uh, I found looking at the documentation for uh, HashiCorp Vault, I got it was sometimes a little confusing for me um, on what the, uh, the API docs were referring to as a secret versus a key versus a path. So just so that there's no confusion, I want to make sure everybody sees the secrets that I have set up in Vault. I'll be working with the KV uh, secrets engine, which I've also um, placed into a path called KV. A lot of the documentation will refer to this as uh, a path called secret. Um, in my case, it's KV. And within KV, I have two secrets, one called demo, one called prod. And within demo, I have a key uh, with a path called password, and it has a value, which uh, we will see when we run our job in, uh, in this project. So coming back to this project, let's take a look at the YAML file. And you'll see that uh, I want this to run quickly, so I'm using the Alpine uh, image. I'm installing here uh, curl and JQ. Next, I run this curl command to pass my JWT token. Uh, over to Vault, and I use that to authenticate and retrieve the uh, Vault token that is then parsed afterwards. Looking at the Vault documentation, I can see the sample curl request that they, uh, they provide along with the response that comes back. And in that response, I can see the client token is one of the uh, components of that uh, JSON response that I will want to retrieve uh, as uh, in order to execute my uh, subsequent uh, requests to retrieve my secret from, uh, from Vault. Once I have that Vault token, I can then use that uh, in my header for subsequent calls. I've done two different things here. First is to list the, uh, the secrets that I have defined in my Vault. So I'm expecting to see uh, demo and prod. And then I'm going to retrieve the key from uh, the secret and that is going to be uh, from, uh, in particular, and pay attention to this, it is from my vault address, which is in my environments, environments variable, uh, 
but it is uh, under B1 of the API, KV, which is the um, which is the uh, secrets uh, engine that I'm using here. And then data demo is the um, actual secret and version equals one. So depending on the version I'm selecting, I will see different information coming back. And in my case, I actually think I want version equals two now. Let me just take a look at this again. Demo. And now I'm actually on version three. All right, so version three list. So let's edit my YAML file, which is a great way to kick it off as well. And I will change that version number to three. And let's go ahead and commit that change. And that should kick off my job. And it's running. I open up read secrets here. I can see it's uh, installing curl and JQ. Here's the first uh, curl request. Uh, we're retrieving the auth, uh, the vault token. And here's the vault token. And this has a very short uh, time to live. And we can take a look at what that time to live looks like in a moment. I just copied that into my buffer. And uh, you can see the secrets are, as we expected, demo and prod. And here is the password that was retrieved, version three of it, B-U-D-D-L-R-L-R-E-A-S. For anybody who is a, a video game fan, you probably recognize that reference. Now I'm going to go to my terminal for a moment and I'm going to do a Vault login. And I'll use the token that I uh, copied from uh, just before there, the Vault token. And I'm doing this so that you can see that the token duration is four minutes and five seconds. Uh, off of uh, an original five minutes. So you can set that when you set up your role on uh, how long the token should last for for that policy. Uh, in my case, it was five minutes for the KB demo policy. And, um, and that's it. So I want to show this real quickly as a way to uh, go ahead and retrieve uh, a value, uh, a secret from uh, Vault using the API, simple curl command, as opposed to having to use the uh, CLI, which is um, uh, looks a lot cleaner, I would say, but also requires that you have the CLI installed in your uh, in your image. Uh, that's it. And this project has been shared. It is public, so you should be able to access that and uh, copy it and take a look. Thanks very much.